What's up? This is Chico Bean. Hey, I am Carlos Miller. And I'm DC Young Fly from the 85 South Show. Hey, when you're on the move and you can't check our show out on YouTube, you can still check us out on the Apple Podcast app, our Heart Radio app, or wherever you get your podcast. What about Spotify? Yep. Uh, Google Podcast? Absolutely. Alexa? Hell yeah. Hey, tune in every Friday. Listen and subscribe to the 85 South Show. It only makes sense. It was early in the morning and I was waking up. Okay. Had a yeah. hangover. Cause I've been taking stuff <laughs> yeah. that I didn't even know that really was supposed to be taken. Okay. Now let me tell you how the dream and how it started shaping. Let's go. See, I'm chilling in my bed, but really on the floor. Keep going. But I can't even tell which way that I just wanna go. Okay. The left is going right, the right is going to the left. Talk to me. I'm hearing voices, but I'm at the house by myself. I wanna go downstairs but it's a hundred of them and then another hundred Man. and then another hundred damn so now i'm stuck i need a fucking boat i don't even know how the fuck i'm gonna fucking float Let's go. if i even yeah. had one but i'm my dad's son i hit my foot up on my bed and made me mad son Damn, if I had some titties, I would grab them right because i'm my grandma's <clears throat> oldest fucking grandson but i'm not and then it got hot and now I'm sweating in this bitch, and then the door done fucking locked. So now I'm stuck up in the room that I originally was in. <laughs> I'm just saying some words to see you, how you been? Yeah. Damn. Damn. Let me slow this shit down. I really had one blunt left, but it looked like a pound. Once I broke that shit down and tried yeah. to roll it back up, it made me tired. So I left it there like, what in the fuck? Now I'm stuck. <laughs> But I'm fucking downstairs. I didn't walk past where I want to go and ain't no chair. So I'm standing up and my fucking legs is fucking burning. And the only song that I can find is Usher and Let It Burn. And Damn. it ain't my turn. You yeah. don't know how I feel. Like I knew fucking better than to take this pill. But I had a headache and I got them mixed up with the Advil. Now I don't even know how long I'm gonna fucking feel this way. I should have took it yesterday. How long has it been? My friend, don't ever do this again. Now it's early in the morning, but it's late at night. I went to sleep for eight hours, but it was a 30 minute fucking nap. Damn. You ready? Yeah. Look. That's what look, happened to me. A fucked up childhood. That's just the way I came up. Yeah. So I had to find the easiest way to just come up. I had a lot of niggas, shit. The niggas wanted me to sell rocks. Niggas started slanging till I came up on a fat or not. But slanging dope wasn't shit. Mm -mm. Nigga, everybody did this. I wanted to join this gang shit, nigga, so I can be down with this. What? I hooked up with my nigga. He told me what to do. He said, join that five deuce, that dirty south, that Uber crew. Mm. Nigga told me if I see down, I would have to stay down. Yeah. <laughs> the only way out the game was six feet underground. Damn. Told that nigga cool shit, put me down with the crew. He told me to catch the square, nigga, so shit, what was I to do? Yeah. I caught that square and started squabbling with that nigga fast. I throw long and strong, but shit, they still jumped on my ass. Come on. And then they said, yo, Pete, you're cool in the game. Then he said, smoke the first nigga that you see in smoking rain. Hold up, I got to stop you right now. Been done. Oh, oh. I loaded up the gun. <laughs> I looked for the first sucker that I could spot for fun. Look, that scar face was bumping. Steady telling me something. Is that killing it ain't nothing. It all be in your conscience. Yeah. Feelings for another nigga? Shit, I had none. That music robbed me mine. That shit had me blind shit. I creeped around that corner with that nine in my hand. I spotted that nigga unlocking his door, getting outside his van. I opened fire just to see how many times I could hit it. Before we hit the ground, I had seven slugs in it. And now y'all call me crazy, call me sick, call me fucked up. You can call me what you want, but I ain't about to put that gun up. I called up Mr. Sandman. Tell him, please bring me a coffin. You so know, I like the freeze. Now, it's your turn. Can you cut the beat? Can you go to another? I can't talk that Come shit. Come goddamn me up. <laughs> <laughs> you just call, talking. You call some bodies, nigga. I can't. I ain't gonna catch your body. It sounded like it. Uh oh. Cut it up, then. <laughs> Cut it up. You gonna see how I get down? Nobody. 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 Okay. Nobody. All right, let's hear it. Nobody. No beat. Nobody. Show me. Show me. Just a regular cool <laughs> day. You know what I'm talking about? All right. If I say something, you might fail. Just say preach, Percy. Preach. All right, got you. Look. Look. I heard a lot of war stories. Seen a lot of lies spread. A lot of brothers in my city still breathing, they don't even care. Shit, I should have got shot, but the buckshot, they ricocheted. 
I should have got killed, but my mama hit her knees and prayed. Mm. I should have got robbed when that gun was pointed at my nose. Cause there ain't no luck when bullet holes all in your clothes. Look, you don't see me with no cross on my back. Jesus died for my sins. I can't copy that cat. But look, let me holler at you for a minute, man. You stand for nothing, nigga. You fall for anything. Look, five shots didn't drop him. He took it in his smile. <laughs> That's what Tupac used to say. Wow, look at him now. Look, you don't understand the pain that I didn't grew up with. And all the drama and all the anger that I seen with. Look, we was born and dying. Headed for the casket. Look. I made my deathbed for shit. One day I gotta lay in. I closed my eyes, asked God, please speak your mind. He told me, he said, preach, person, preach. I said, what? Preach? Preach, preach person, person, preach. Preach, person. Preach, yes. Yeah. But look, man, my mama told me, look, person, you gonna be a preacher. I told her, I be, no, I be preaching to only five speakers. But I can see it under my eyes, a lot of pain inside. But I put that on God. It's me against all odds. Mm. Cause one day you're here, the next day you're gone. One day you're broke, shit, but the day I'm on. <laughs> the streets got my heart, but they ain't got my soul. I'm OG person, nigga, the greatest story that was never told. Come on. Cause if you're scared of dead folks, shit, get your life right. Yeah. Cause when you live wrong, shit, you can't sleep right. Mm. So preach, person, preach. preach. Yeah. God damn. So preach, 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 look. preach, But let me tell you a little something about Diamond Stone. That's who I hang with. Yeah. See, we the truth. You can bring all the hell that you can come with. Look, I keep that Bible in my hard head. Because when we leave this place today, we got to go back where the war is. Mm. And you can bring the whole hell, it don't matter. Because all we got to say is, Jesus, demons going to scatter. Look, I got that mind of the man that's inside you. You can run, you can hide, but he gonna find you. Mm. And like I say, it ain't no getting away. And when I finish preaching today, the devil gonna have to take his hands away. Look, prepare for spiritual war, this is combat. Cause I done seen some go to the war and don't come back. Oh, come preach, on, person. preach, preach. Person. Oh, Boy. That's what we doing, person. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, you I think I ain't got no gangster <laughs> shit too. Hey, long I'm just saying, I ain't no shit. Hey, now, I'm in right the car. Now. It's me and Jesus. <laughs> okay. okay. It's like two or three guns in between us. Free Let's go. And I'm driving. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus on some other shit. <laughs> like, Hey, where the devil at? Cause he a bitch. Yeah, okay. I'm like, Lord, you on probation. You don't need to do it. He like, fuck it. My whole fucking life was ruined. Preach, this nigga Lord. tried me in front of them hoes. Man, you ride by his crib. I'm going to shoot him up, Los. I'm like, no, nah, Lord. Not me and you. Because this ain't the type of shit that the Lord supposed to do. But the Lord had a motherfucking chop on him. And he had to look up in his eyes. It wasn't no stopping, homie. He said, if I see this nigga tonight, he ain't gonna make it, bro. And I'm like, I'm with you, Lord. However the shit's supposed to go. go. He like, Los, if you want to go, shit, take it on. I'm like, just give me that one right there that's by my phone. Mm. I got that pistol on my lap. We in that old school. Jesus drinking and smoking. He ready to cut a pool. We stopped by the stove. Some bitches pulled up. And that's probably the only thing that really fucking saved, bro. Cause they was talking Preach. good, and she was walking good, and they was just located right in our neighborhood, <coughs> right there up the street. Mm. One for him, one for me, mm. and they had another one. She was the real free. <coughs> yeah. So me and Jesus ran into some hoes, and he was like, "Los, you know, I don't like I know." <laughs> but just fuck with him. Fire, like, hey, Los, go and see fuck what's up with, with him. Boy. Nah. Preach, Los. Preach. preach. Hey, I'm real top. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, what we doing? Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the 85 Let's South go, Show. Man. Yeah. 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 Hey, tell these young niggas about that time me and Jesus. We, 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 hey, yeah. man. Yeah, that was fire. Hey, man, first and foremost, I would like to welcome Diamond Stone and OG Person to the Trap House. <laughs> this is the 85 South Show. Good shout out, man. Man, I was just wanting to extend the invitation because y'all are out there in Fort Worth creating some dope ass content, man. Diamond Stone, how you link up with OG Person, man? Man, um, honestly, bro, like, it was like, OG Person was one of those people from Fort Worth that you always heard about, but you never seen him, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he was locked up. And um, so I was at work one day, and uh, my partner told me, like, man, uh, OG Person, show no mercy. That's how my daddy cursed me. 
And I'm like, nah, bro, I ain't never heard of him. This was like 2014, you know what I'm saying? This is right when he was, he just had got out of prison out of Ferguson yeah. unit like in 2010. Right. And uh, he got into, he was doing battle rapping real hard. He was hitting like, million, at this time, he just had, like hit a million views yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, so I started watching the, uh, all the battle raps and stuff like that. And then uh, it was like, what, 2017? I ended up meeting him. Yeah. And just here recently, last year, I interviewed his son, PMG guy. True. And uh, and I, I ran into him again. And I told him, I said, man, we got to get this interview in, man. And like like last year, August, we hit the interview. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, just from the battle raps, I knew everything about his life because I started like studying him. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was really, I was really on him. Right. And I was like, man, once I got into the blogging, I was like, man, I got to get OG Percy, you know what I'm saying? I got to get this interview, you know what I'm saying? He got something to talk about. He really been through some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, once we did that first interview, man, like, you know what I'm saying? The rest was history, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Right. Yeah. It's fire. OG Percy, show no mercy, man. That's the way my daddy cursed me. Come on, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, introduce yourself to the 85 percenters and let them Man, know. first of all, I'll say, Man, I appreciate you. Salute you, Carlos, man. Man, uh, I appreciate the wood you. Wood pile over there. Good, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Man, the, the, the hospitality has been great, man. Never been treated better in my life. Never been out of Texas in my life. Shit, never been out of Fort Worth. Come you on, man. Yeah, I gang bang. I got stuck in the city for real. So you what was me? it like, man, first getting out the city for the first time? Say, man. Say, it's like, a, it's like going to heaven. You hear me? Yeah. The way I came. You hear me? In the sky. You dig what I'm saying? That's how I looked at it when I was in them class up there. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, it was a change. You know, it, was a, it was a trip. Yeah. It was like you moving on somewhere. You hear me? And then when I looked down and seen the class and we was above the class and we was still, I was like, yeah, we ain't in the class. Or what? The class down there and we still flying. <laughs> and I was looking, I ain't seen no shit like that before. You hear me? Yeah, <laughs> man. That was crazy. That's dope. That was crazy. Well. You know, that first time getting out that motherfucker, man. And yeah. then when you touch down in the city, people running up on you already knowing who you are and all that type of shit. That was crazy. Shout out to ATL, man. We down here, man. They running up on me like I'm still in Fort Worth. Right. Like I ain't left the city. We got a shirt. We got a shirt. Tell them about the tour, man. Man, you know what's going on, man. The tour going crazy, man. Should I say it again? Yeah. We're going to be in Biloxi, Sacramento, Charleston, Seattle, and a little bit more. If you want to know, go to the 85southshow.com, Negro. Okay, bet. Hey, man, we back. We coming to all them cities he just named. You did. And some more cities. Come on. And, and we coming to see the 85 percenters. You hear me? We don't have cities in the building. Cities. And, and Listen, I'm talking about this time. Put them, pull them out. We done been through a pandemic. Pull the tennis out. What they gonna say? They gonna, they gonna be like, whoo, we been missing them titties. Now, one thing we can ensure, we can create a safe environment where you pull them titties out. Yes, we can. Yes, and we, we can. have proven that. Right. You hear me? We have right. uh, grandmas smoking weed that's on oxygen tanks, and they have in their baby. <laughs> Nigga can't say I show don't inspire. I talked to that lady family. She doing uh, well right now. She, she doing, doing good. good. Salute, man. Salute, auntie. Yeah, man, so come check us out. Make some more this piece. I ain't even gonna lie, and to be honest, to be honest, so we good. miss y'all motherfuckers, man. I miss y'all too, man. Are you crying? Oh, that was, that was a great walk out. That was a great walk out. We gotta right. do it again. <laughs> and to be honest, man, <laughs> to be honest, nigga, we miss y'all motherfuckers. One more. One more, bro. One more? Okay. <laughs> Nick, and to be honest, Nick, Potter, to be honest, we miss y'all motherfuckers. Hey, man, we out of here. For real. Good. I'm like, goddamn, we not even, we in ATL, homie. I seen one kid run up and my boy, he got like, wait, hold on, homie. Who, now who is you? He said, man, I'm just a fan. Yeah. And then he said, I seen your rap battle. I said, yeah, he a fan for real. Cause he ain't gonna come off with that off the top. When you start with the rap battles, that's when you start with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I started way before the rap battles. The rap battles just where I could sneak my story in on shit. You hear yeah. me? Tell it on myself a little bit without so, getting, you know, they think it's just a rap battle. Exactly. You can be who you want in a rap battle, but I was really just being me. And they didn't know that until they started really studying me. Right. Yes, sir. Bro, and it's like, you got a very interesting story, man. It's like, 
for all the people who don't know, it's like OG Percy and Diamond Stone, they got this dope ass series of just like street interviews and like OG getting his story off and just letting them know all the wild shit that he done did and done and seen <laughs> yeah. and saw and yeah. all these facilities that this nigga been in and locked down and then yeah. it's like, the way this nigga tell the story is so vivid, it make you feel like you you really like can see this shit. Yeah. Bro, when did you, how did you develop that fucking, that storytelling ability? Man, to tell you the truth, I'm not even lie, uh, I ain't know I had a storytelling ability. Shit, man, you it's just me? like, bro, I be riding around <laughs> listening to this shit, they be like, bro, what the fuck is it? That's bro, crazy. This nigga, you gotta get up on this nigga, man. Oh. Just studying myself, man, uh. When I, when I tripped down, I was like, damn, you know, I'm just really just, I'm just telling me, rapping. Right. Rapping, you know, uh, Scarface always was my idol in rapping. Yeah. Always. I grew up on the Scarface. One of the best storytellers. Say, real talk. And, uh, and really, I used to listen to Scarface, and what he rapped about was really, I was living it, even if he wasn't. Uh, when I talked to him around a while ago, I say, the music had me robbed, blind, the music robbed my mind, the shit had me blind. Yeah, that the Scarface. I always put Scarface in when I want to go do something or, or zone out with the drugs. You know, without the drugs, the drugs and the music, that was the killer back then. The drugs and the music, if you know shit, you get on the drugs, the music gonna rob you after that. Right. And, yeah, and I was like that. But um, the pattern of storytelling shit, I just noticed one day my little brother said some shit that drove me crazy. He said, Percy, you, you, be, you, be, you be doing what the music say, do you? <laughs> you know, I be like, what, nigga? You know what I'm saying? He said, you be doing the same thing the music be talking about doing. I, be, I said, do it. And then I got, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? just being me. Right. I didn't know my life that had been through that much until I just started paying attention to it. Yeah. Then I said, shit, well, you know, I went through this too then. You know, well, shit, I been through this, but you know, by the time I realized that, I used to just rap about it. Right. Sneaking in my raps. That's how I could tell my story. I didn't know I could just tell it without the music. Dig what I'm saying? To Diamond, you know, he come, man, you gotta still say it. I ain't got to sit on the stage, no. When you cut the music off, I feel ain't a rhythm to nothing no more. Then I tried battle rap. Right. For the first time, and I see it. I become the most viewed battle rapper in the South. Yeah. The most viewed battle rapper in the South. Oh, yes, yeah, I did that. Yeah. Bro, what made yes, you sir. start fucking with the battle rap? Shout out to my son, Black Caesar, man, Papa. Shout out to my other son, J-Rock. Don't you wish your daddy gave you shout outs like that? Yeah, yeah, shout out to my son Pernell. Shout out to Peyton, PMG, God, Free to God. Shout out to the Insane, that's Preston. Shout out to Perry Young, shout out to uh, um, 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 Price, my football player. Shout out to Passionelle, Press, I mean Priestley, and Marquise. How many you got, OG? I got 10 babies, seven, seven boys and three girls, man. Them the kids, man. Yeah, that's the, that's the squad. That's my, that's my game. That's two squads. Yeah, that's the old squad and the young squad. I got the yeah. That nigga got the old squad and the subs. In the young squad. In the subs. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what's up. They love they dad. They supposed to. Yes, sir. Like, it's daddy's man. It's, it's hard being a fucking daddy, bro. Yeah. Ooh, shit. You got to be that, though. You damn sure got to yeah. be that, man. I'll be around. But it's just like being, being, you know, the head of the family. So much comes with that. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. And then, you know, 10, that's an army. Yeah, seven baby mamas. Shout out to the baby mamas. Yeah. You got seven of them. You hear <laughs> Shit. All you know. on P name. Woo! Oh, yeah, but I named all the babies. I've been there from day one. Yeah, all on yeah. P name. Yeah. Man. When you're not around, they can name them Cheerio, <laughs> Brady Bunch, anything they want to call them. You hear me? Yeah. Damn, her dad. Up. Yeah, <laughs> that type shit. Yeah, sneak their boyfriend name in there on the cool. The real baby daddy. Yeah. Yeah. It, happen. yeah, it happens. It happens to some of the greats, man. Yeah, it do. You know, well, hell. Shout out to them niggas, too. Right, right. I feel like at, every, at some point in every nigga life, they're going to get a baby blamed on them. I oh, think yeah. it's some shit that's just going to happen to you as right. a black man. Mm. That'll make, make your ass go in the house. Yeah. When, she, down, when she blamed the baby on you and it can almost be you. <clears throat> That's a wake up call. Get right with my family, boy. I gotta keep my ass in that house. Then you get that never mind text. Back out there. <laughs> boy, they almost got me. Early, too. Early. It was early in the summer. <laughs> Can I give a Tales from a Crip on that? Man, hell yeah. Tales from a Crip, man. One time I had a baby, a chick that I was just so in love with. 
Shit, I stopped gang banging. I stopped, I said, I even got two jobs. I working at the Red Lobster and the Black Eyed Pea restaurant, cooking and shit. We ain't got us an apartment. You understand me? She black, she chocolate like me. I moved in the apartment. See, I turned the whole bedroom into a, a goddamn me a nursery. We got the goddamn me the little spinner things and the, the whole garden there. You see everything. The little walkers before the baby even get had everything. Goddamn me. So goddamn, I got a call one day. Shit, my mom say, uh, uh, person, you know, Candy had the baby. Goddamn. She, when? She, she couldn't have it. I would have been the first to know. You did what I'm saying? That's the guy. Look here, don't start shaking your head. Let me shake my head first, dude. Let me get this nigga out there. Mama so, knew. Hey, hold on now. As soon as I heard the name, I was like, ooh. ooh. Candy. Mm. Oh, man, come mm. on. Look at it. But anyway, she said, Candy had the baby. Oh, I was like, Mom, she had the baby? Yeah, you on point. That's that bullshit. You hear now, some of them like to be the first to, you know, borrow bad news when they know ain't nobody told you yet. You hear me? God damn it, she. They trying to get it in first, you hear me? So I said, Mama, now I said, now. She said, but well, baby, don't even come up here. I said, Mama, what the fuck that mean? Just because she didn't tell me? She said, nah. She said, that baby, that baby look like a Chinese, you hear me? I said, Chinese? <laughs> I said, but that bitch black as that shirt, and I'm purple. You hear me? The baby shouldn't have came out no color. Than... She should have came out this color or something like that. You hear me? Said, baby, yellow, yellow as a diamond. You hear me? Goddamn me, you know. Come find out my little partner Brian had been knocking her out. Hey! Said, but come on now. Damn, look, can I get mine in first? God damn. God damn. Let me get mine in first. You hear me? See, I'm boy, gonna niggas my... is low to hell, boy. <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. You know, that lets you know I done been through bullshit too. You hear me? Hey, bro, come yeah. on down here. She done had our baby. Yeah. <laughs> me and our baby. Say, he got your feet, bro. Yeah, he got both your feet. Both of them taking the feet. You say she got your feet, bro. Oh, gee, what you do with all the baby shit? Oh, no, what's this? I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. I'm so fucked up. Uh, I, packed, I had five dollars in my pocket. I grabbed my two picture books out the house. Damn. And I walked off and I jumped in this U-Haul one of my partners said he was going to Houston. I told him nigga drop me off in Fort Worth. Cause I knew if I'd have stayed there, I'd end up, you know, I'd probably been, you know, nigga would fucked up. You hear me? I had to. I grabbed my two pigeon books, had five dollars in my pocket, and hit Fort Worth and never went back to that little town. You hear me? Damn. I like, damn. But you know, you ain't right? seen a sense. I didn't see the plenty of time. I knocked it off and everything since then, you know. Yeah, you do it again? Nah, I never do it again. You yeah, you, but you knocked it off after that. Yeah, everybody like, everybody watch this. You know, shit, about like, what, 15 years later, you hear me? Oh, man. Yeah, way, way down the line. I would have brought it back up while I'm in them guts. You remember trying to blame yeah, yeah, the baby yeah, on me? Yeah, you know you're going to pay for yeah. that. I don't even want no pussy. You remember trying to blame them kids? Yeah, yeah, you hear <laughs> you, you, you seeing the child, too, like that. Oh, no, nah, yeah. Watch this. I didn't see the child until the child got older. Beautiful girl named Brianna, man. She, if she still got my first name, that was so cold. <laughs> Bro, her daddy gonna see this and be like, what? Hey, yeah, nigga, you <laughs> That part. You Put Martha on the goddamn phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, cut this shit off. Yeah. Cut this shit yeah. off. Hey, they ain't got there another episode? <laughs> <laughs> man, talk about something else, man. Say, Come on, man. Say, hey. say, but watch this. You know how many niggas gonna do that? Yeah, man. <laughs> Go do the same thing? Yeah, they gonna cut that off. Yeah. Yeah, that's real talk. Well, this ain't they show anyway. <laughs> Shit happens in life, man. Yeah. Oh, G came back and hit that pussy. He came oh, yeah, you know, you're just, yeah. <laughs> Double back. Yeah, say. But, you know, you grow up, you get real fine to find that grown lady just sitting in on you. Oh, yeah. Shit, you can't. Come on, man. Certain things you just see. One for the road. God damn it, you hear me? I need that. You man. Right, look, that time, no Oh, yeah, you know, you gonna pay back the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> say that, that, that revenge dick was a bad motherfucker. <laughs> And you was talking about Pornhub a while ago. We don't do Pornhub no more. It's fans only, you hear me? Oh, that shit. <laughs> That's for the real ones, you know what I mean? just can't subscribe to no pussy. After I see it about two or three times. Yeah, it's a wrap. Go and put that up. Yeah, that part. The same <laughs> show me, shit. Show, you got no more? <laughs> you hear me? You got no more? Yeah. I don't know what they doing on OnlyFans. Is it like a story? I mean, shit. You can go there and say, God damn. I know I know who that is. Is that? Uh. Yeah, that damn that, that dude. Let me see if she got a, in, see if she got a mole right here or a tattoo. I feel right like or some shit. only yeah. fans is like, here, nigga, damn, a titty. Give me the yeah. money. Oh, damn. It's real aggressive for some reason. Damn. I don't feel like it's inviting. 
They right. could be doing regular shit. They might be Hustle. playing goddamn mm-hmm. spades on them motherfuckers. What if a bitch but you just, don't subscribe? Bitches just come out naked all the time and put clothes on. Oh, that's, 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 oh, that's a whole nother that fetish. That shit mine fuck. Yeah, yeah, niggas used to seeing women take clothes off. You watch bitch get dressed. Get dressed. <laughs> you would just keep rewinding to, to the Yeah, to the part. naked part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hoping she moved a certain way or some shit. <laughs> or bent over or something. <laughs> then got started You know that. how a woman can make a lot of money on OnlyFans? Is just sit there and listen. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Niggas will be like, I ain't never seen this shit before. <laughs> Bruh, she just listening. <laughs> she being quiet and just listening. That shit's sexy. She ain't talking back or nothing. She just listen. <laughs> that shit'll go crazy. You gonna put something in the air? Well, I'm, I'm gonna subscribe <laughs> and just be like. <laughs> God damn, so what to get, to get out for it come in? <laughs> I'm trying to get to the gift for it. Yeah. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. Thank you, motherfucker. Oh, she don't give a yeah. fuck about yeah. that listening I'm shit. Call, hey, I'm a hey, man. Bitch, listen, what a call, hey, man. Hey, man. Hard-head women. 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 Look, yeah, the STG unit. Bruh. Yeah. You done told some horror stories about that motherfucker. There's always stories to tell. Hell yeah. yeah. You need a life. Ferguson don't run out. It's, it's going to be there. Been there since 1958. You hear me? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention. Been there since 1958. Yeah. Shit, uh, what's that nigga name? Whatever, whatever the, the baddest motherfuckers they got, them been to them motherfuckers. Wild, 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 Jesse James and shit like that. You hear? Me? Damn, man. Wild Bill Earps and shit like that. You hear? They got motherfucking cowboys locked up in that bitch. Yeah, that bitch is square business. Yeah, man. You fuck with that? I fuck with that. That nigga with the purple do rag be making them beats. I fuck that. with that. That's that nigga Jay that, That's the truth right there. You rap on that motherfucker? I rap on anything you put on. You put on Chinese beat, an elevator beat, or uh, some motherfucker. Don't tell him that. He nah, put that techno but, on, bro. Nah, no, please don't do me like that. Bro, he got you, trying to, you trying to get down on me now. You hear me? He said, I know you. Now he's saying, I know you can't fuck with that. That's what he's saying. Nigga, you hear me? Yeah, nah. That nigga got that purple do-rag on. You really can't tell him that he, he got, ain't Say, Say, can you cut it up then? I'll run you. Oh. A little bit more. What's this? I, I, I'm going to go. All day. Look, I ain't never had sense till I found Jesus. But I ain't never killed a man. The man tried to kill me. I ain't never seen the dead rise till he rose in me. Look, I'm a regular, real child of God, supposed to be. Look, man, let me talk to you, man. I used to hang with the bad, cause the good put me out. Shit, okay. I used to think life was bad till the good came out. They sprinkled dirt on my name, cause they couldn't figure me out. They threw. Dirt on my name until they build them a path. They threw dirt on my name until they build them a man. But look, God made me out of dirt. That's why I'm here now. Look, all they did was build me Preach. up. And they couldn't see how. I got to tell my haters now, please throw dirt on me now. Look, my faith long, shit. My praise strong. But if you ain't got God, you're doing something wrong. Look, man, I've been saved. I'm trying to turn the homies on. Look. I've been off. I'm trying to get my clap on. They say, Percy make it rain, shit. I ain't God. They say, Percy make him shit, shit. I ain't the Lord, look. But I am God's son. That's why I'm in choice. I'm trying to follow him, man. He got the positive choice. Look, even Jesus got a style that I can't find. Look, if this rhyme wasn't about God, this rhyme wouldn't be mine. They call me True Testament, shit. The Bible ain't lying. Cause when I walk into the church, they call me the comeback child. Hey, take three L's to the head. Like love, live, life, then you're dead. Mm. Look, Jesus can only be found where you leave. Damn, that where the world was my friends when I needed them. Look, I give God my all, never cheated him. Cause I don't like being in bondage. I like freedom, look. I'm the truth, no lie. Can you dig it? Right on. God made me a giant, not a midget. Come yeah. on. <laughs> I'm clean, look, not a stain, not a smidget. 
and being saved is so cool. Damn, I can dig it. Look, I'm proud of who I am, not who I used to be. Shit, no looking back there. That's who I used to be. I used to fly high, shit. I ended up crashing. Nigga, I was doing bad, doing bad like Michael Jackson. Damn. So sad, some say, now where y'all live? These niggas say that I'm bad, Miller. Shit, so keep smashing. What that mean? Don't stop. Keep going. Keep rapping. Shit, look. I'm on time. I'm on beat. Cut it up. So keep clapping. Look. Yeah. Let me put this Dear up. Lord, this is... look. Hmm. From me to you. Shit. I heard Miller say, get ready. Diamond said, boy, you're going to need a suit. Shit. I said, you better make it too. Why? One for me and you. Shit. Taylor made by Diamond Strong. Look, nigga, we the truth. Hey. Y'all can tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm ahead with this one. Born and died, raised on Easter's and Christmas. Where the Christians at? Nah. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm the preacher's pet. My flow sick. You can hear it. The pastor say I need to see a vet. Damn. And I ain't met a blind eye that can see me yet. Look, I'm on the dock of the bay fishing for a catch. Okay. I got a God idea. Shit. Don't make me go in prayer and bring God down here. I have him everywhere. Look, look. I ain't got a glimpse of hell. Now I ain't trying to go. You can catch me in paradise. Shit. Shouting with my folks. Fuck that. You can find me riding first class with Millie and Diamond Coach. Now we ride first class. Them niggas can ride coach. Hey. Boy. Preach, person, preach. Boy. Hey, man. Oh, man. Quit playing with me, nigga. Hey, low. Hey, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to instigate some hey, shit. Look, man, I'm not check this out, man. You better come <laughs> in. Man. I already you told you how I was riding with Jesus, and he had the, the things on him. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't even saying shit else, man. Welcome Bro. back to the 85 yeah, South Show. Let's go, man. AKA yeah. OG Percy. Yes, Diamond sir. Stone TV. Nav Green. Man, this nigga Nav down there with Eddie Murphy didn't even tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> he right there with Eddie Murphy and then say, Bring, bring me up. God damn. That's not, that's not no real nigga shit. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, you gonna sir. say that shit in front of the OG? Yeah. <laughs> OG <laughs> person need to know, man. <laughs> no, man. Right. Look at look at Diamond Stone looking like what's up? Why no. well, you trying to get a nigga really fucked up by him? <laughs> no, Diamond Stone. He saw how he leaned. He saw how he leaned back like that. Yeah. Man. OG yeah, like back. he looking at you like what you want me to do? Bro, he was yeah. right. He yeah. was right there with yeah, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, really was You know, and pay attention though. You know, 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 you Oh, there you go right there, y'all. Y'all see? You know, I don't really ask nobody for a lot, bro. But yeah. he could have just like threw my name out there. <laughs> mm. Now I was in number 17. Wait, God damn, what? what? And they say, you, you know, get, anyway, that was man. a cold OG Wait, person, man, yes, did, sir. did you know that you was reaching so many people with these videos you were dropping? I, I really didn't know what, uh, back when I first started doing video shit, I thought a thousand was a lot. I ain't gonna lie, I should wait on it. Mm -hmm. I remember my son ran the room and they said, Daddy, you almost at a thousand. You got 800. So I said, what I do? We got up, we went to a little old thing, we looked. I said, yeah. That's say like 857. It's about like, it took a month to get there. You hear me? And uh, when God blessed me and told me to keep doing what I was doing, mm. you dig what I'm saying? In my spirit, and he said, keep doing what you're doing. I didn't want a battle rap, but he said, don't take his word and use it for the other side because I didn't give it to you for that. So when I started using it for both sides, it started climbing. I started looking at the numbers. Right. He started saying, you know, I was doing a lot of banging, a lot of killing in my rap because I knew that's what the youngsters was feeding on. But he said, I'm not going to give you that platform to destroy. I'm going to give it to you to build. You dig what I'm saying? So um, I changed my shit up a little bit and started throwing, sliding some in on those feeding the youngsters. You know how you do. You got to do like a baby. Feed them like milk, you know what I'm saying? Throw them a little, little bone every now and then. Uh, so I say that to say this. I slip a little guard in my rap every now and then, you hear right, right, right. On real cool in there, and they'll bite it. And they started, they kept biting, I started seeing they were biting that more than anything. And every time they bit that, the numbers kept growing. The numbers kept growing. I was like, God damn, one, and I had a thousand. Took a month to get a thousand. When God started working shit, I went there one day, man called me, said, uh, Reality Street Stars, you know, down there in um, Dallas, they called me, said, man, uh, I feel I almost have a million views. I said, a million views in what? He said, you almost finna hit a million views, man. You gonna be the first nigga in Texas to ever hit a million anything in battle rap. It's better yet in the South. I said, what? He said, yeah, man, you got a million coming up. 
That, that was a meal ticket. I hooked up with Diamond shit and got off the battle rap because the battle rap caught attention, but it caught more negative attention than positive. When I started telling the real stories, you know how goddamn that penitentiary really, 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 you know, can drive you and put your mind in them numbers when the clan, they started listening. Shit, it feel good to wake up and, through, and, and be out in 24 hours and got 30,000 views every time you drop, you hear me? That, 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 that's what the number's looking like now. You know what I'm saying? Every time we drop something, no less than 30,000 people, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't know there was that many people. I didn't know I was gonna start knowing people to niggas start running and say, man, you OG, that's, I'm like, God damn, they start, it ain't, it ain't like that, is it? Then I start seeing, they start paying attention, and they were like, shit, not just in Fort Worth, Fort Worth was just a piece of, that was that's paying attention. That's what I was just about to tell you, bro. They, the internet be lying. They don't tell you how many niggas really watch this shit. <laughs> It'll scare you if you knew. <laughs> but just think, even if it was 30,000, the chances are you will run into all 30,000 of them. Man, I seen that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. That's exactly how nah, it was. real talk. Who that out there? That OG <laughs> purse? That type of shit. What's up, man? I real. would come out there, but I'm watching this car, bro. I'm about four child, bro. Mm-hmm. Man. It's everywhere. The black community is small as hell. <laughs> we out here, though. Yes, sir. That's why I fuck with my followers and my fans so much. Yeah. Because they let a nigga know. They tell you the exact moment. Nigga, I seen the one. Yeah. 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 I fuck with you. I know who you is. Yeah, yeah that part. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk. That's people, everywhere. Man, people love that shit, man. They want to be a part of the they movement. They make you feel like they know you personally. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. it's so dope watching y'all just build a movement, you know, organically down there like that. Yeah. The stories are very entertaining. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. I feel like, shit, I, I couldn't read coming up. Like I tell everybody in Tales from the Crib, I, I wasn't a good reader until I got put in the penitentiary, locked down in solitary. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of things these young niggas out here doing, you know, they rather act bad than get that education. But they don't know when you act bad, you end up in the penitentiary without the education, it's gonna cost you more. You get what I'm saying? And them niggas, and what they don't know is niggas been in that penitentiary since the 50s, <laughs> since the 60s, since the 70s, <clears throat> since the 80s. Since the 90s, and you the millennium niggas, y'all just now hitting y'all 20 years old. Oh yeah, you the 21. Yeah, y'all, y'all turn the dough down right now, and they and they and they feeding off them. They don't know. They just drop, like dropping a kid in the line. Then you hear me? They eating them young niggas up when they coming in. Them young niggas don't know till they get there, till they get there and find out. Yeah, it ain't it ain't what they made it sound. I ain't never made penitentiary sound good to nobody. You hear me? Right. I ain't tried to, but the week. The weak minded would see that because they'd say, he's praising prison, he's praising this. Nah, he's trying to keep your daughter, your son from making that same mistake. And if you listen and catch the message instead of the mess, you're you going to, they just catch, you know how to get, they get the beginning. They don't yeah. read the whole, that's the mess. Mm -hmm. They don't get the whole message. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how, that, you know, they, they stop right there and they feed off of that. A lot of them rather hear a big lie than a small truth. You hear me? Yeah, big lies, goddamn. Y'all go out and do these rides and slides, but they didn't tell you you're gonna end up in that motherfucker 25, 30, and 40 years. Man. In the, in the first 20 and 35 days that you there, them niggas gonna make sure you, 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 you wish you never wanted to come in this motherfucker again. You hear me? Yeah, that's what it's built for. And that's what I'm here to let them know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm proud to see the youngs that's sitting around me. Like, youngs, all these little niggas, you hear everybody, you hear me? That nigga 40. 40. <laughs> okay. In my book, watch this, watch this. In my book, youngster. You hear me? Yeah, he's still youngster. Yeah. Instead, he coming how old you 42, he's still that's a youngster. Little young nigga, he ain't number 42. He think he got it, but he <laughs> almost there. He in the His third quarter. Soft at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, know if nah. it's bad that he believed you that I'm 40. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, nah, come on, don't do that. Nah, man. this one of the realest niggas yeah, there. Nah. Come man. on, man. Hey, me and this nigga <laughs> been talking shit since day one, bro. I met this nigga talking yes, shit. Yeah, yeah, he the truth. I, yeah, I listened yeah. to him a while ago. He snuck a lot of them in there. Yeah. I ain't got no choice, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm proud to be sitting at this couch right now, man. Bro, this is the trap house, man. Yeah, and seeing yeah, that. Yeah. This is just the platform that we built, you know, for black excellence. Right, you right. Know, so black people can be on here and be excellent, man. And, I, you know, I see the shit that you're doing, you know, telling your story and telling more. Hey, but you always throw it in there. Hey, man, don't do this shit. This shit was stupid. Yeah. Like, you yeah. tell well, motherfucker, hey, man, you don't want well, this yeah. shit. A waste. You hear me? Yeah. And that's what we try to tell them, too, is some motherfucker sitting at the crib right now scared to pursue. You know, they Happens. real dreams, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, nigga, go outside, nigga. That poor. Yeah. 
See, the trick to life is you're supposed to take your look, take your skills, and use them bitches for yourself. Whatever you're doing at your job, nigga, you can do that shit for yourself. But that's OG, the trick. you gonna fly more now? You don't. Shit, if I get the same hands, but if a nigga can't outdo y'all here, I don't think they I can. Win, <laughs> we didn't spoil you. They if can't. a nigga can't outdo y'all, can yeah. I come back here? See, yeah. That type of shit. <laughs> How about yeah. that? Yeah. Can I, get a guy, can I get a welcome back? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Man, we shit. wanted you to make sure you come out here and enjoy yourself. And then it's just like, you know, the shit played out perfectly. You see, you're running into your fans and shit, just knowing that you got them out there. People watching, man. You're entertaining people now. <laughs> All that shit, you know, made a full circle, man. Right. God might have been, you know, that might have been your walk and your truth for you to be the one to be like, nigga, this ain't what you want. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you a prophet in your own message. Yeah, yeah. shit. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. You know, we all got a story to tell, but it's like, how you tell that motherfucker is what yeah, makes that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This shit filled with enough action and adventure, truth, deceit, yes, hurtfulness, yes, violence. Sir. Let's go. <laughs> Car chases, <laughs> explosions, <laughs> hostage situations. Yeah, man. That's what the 85 South show is. It's just a whole bunch of organized chaos. Right, right. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. That's everybody. Yeah, man. I'm about to light some more of this weed. I don't get high. Okay. When I get high, yeah. I just be getting sentimental and shit. I get that. I be starting thinking about people who ain't here and shit. You know, not like, not on earth. I'm just saying, like, not in the room. <laughs> okay. I don't like how y'all took that shit so deep so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Told you, bro. Atlanta's something else. Yeah. You got to see it. What that murder worth like? <coughs> shit, full of mayhem, man, and murder, man. Yeah. Full of mayhem and murder right now, man. Yeah. That shit too strong for him. Yeah, some bad shit, but um, the war, you know, <laughs> I, I told niggas the other day, it's, it's, it's a trip that you get little, you live old enough to see gang banging come, go, and, and come back around. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't seen gang banging come. Lead this motherfucker for a good six, seven, eight years, and then it's back. And shit, and it's more, it's more ruthless than it used to be, you hear me? It ain't no rules to it no more. It ain't. It had rules when we was coming up. You certain shit you couldn't do, you couldn't go do this, you couldn't go do that, but ain't no rules. It's the wild, wild west. No, nah, it's for real. It's open gun carry now, you hear me? Yeah, back to the wild, wild west. I know. Yeah, the setup. That's why I don't be out there like that. We <laughs> talk. That's why I don't want to be out there. <laughs> I don't want to be out there. I'm like trying that. to get out that motherfucker. You hear me? Yeah, I've been stuck in my in my Barney Mag was. I've been stuck in that motherfucker 51 years. You hear me? Yeah. See? Yeah, but um, it's a whole world out yeah. there. Yeah, if God got me to work there, that's where you understand me. Shit, that's where I'm gonna work at. You hear me? That's what we've been telling yeah. niggas all the time. You niggas don't, you don't from never network. know where the fuck your happiness might be. Right. Just think, you a whole nigga in the streets, right? You might be the happiest you will ever be in your life in motherfucking Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Mm. Nigga might have to move to Maine to just find some peace. New Hampshire. Nigga, where the fuck you been? Nigga, I moved to Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful in the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Just niggas gotta move around to see this bitch, man. Yeah. It's a whole world out there. Yeah. What's the craziest shit you done seen out here in Atlanta? I seen a nigga shit on the sidewalk last what? night. <laughs> damn, no. I mean, goddamn. I mean, it's just so, I mean, it's just, you, you it had a show know how to walk with no, a dick and dumb. I'm just saying, I'm getting right to the point. You, you know? think yeah. it's just nice? Yeah. yeah. You think it's nice? Yeah. yeah, right on the sidewalk. Uh, uh, now, nah, but the, the craziest part. Welcome right? to Atlanta. Yeah, that part, nigga. <laughs> welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> Straight oh, up. You, you think it's nice? Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. yeah. He still loving it. I can't right believe right you stayed. I would have nah, left. Hey, man, this shit ain't going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Man, we'll get to the old chest nigga that is shitting. I'm well, just, I, well, I'm just saying. Full of flesh shit. Man. You nah, a real, real nigga for coming still. <laughs> yeah, I would have left. I don't want to be around all this shit. <laughs> hey, now the cold part hey, about I, it. I apologize on behalf nah, of Nah, nah, nah. The cold part about it, when I came back, back he was laying his head right there by it like this. 
Like it wasn't laying there. You hear? <laughs> Come on, man. That's the cold part. I didn't mean that to man. invite you to no shit like this. Yeah, that was some oh shit. Oh my God. That was some shit. We, <laughs> laughing. we laughing because that was so in laugh. Oh, we got company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You think it's nice here? <laughs> Why like you think he looked up at him while he was shitting? Like. You hear me? <laughs> you see something, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stomach is hurting. Oh, my fucking goodness. Hey, bro, they didn't really show they ass in Atlanta like, this time. Wow. Yeah. Man. yeah. He laid yeah, right top. down. Yeah, lay right on side of me. <laughs> Put his head by his Yeah, just like that. I should have never asked. Yeah, that was. I Damn, I was hoping guy. for a good Atlanta story. Right. Atlanta ain't ain't nothing, ain't oh, I, nothing that, else happened. just one thing. Oh, okay. See, I seen a nigga sit in the middle of the street and go to eat. <laughs> Goddamn, he had his food right there and sit right in the middle of the goddamn <laughs> street, right under the red light. Nigga went to eat until the police walked up. What's out of town you was talking? <laughs> Say, we never left the, We never left downtown. This yeah, motherfucker, shit, I don't go nowhere else. Hey, downtown see. is a crazy place at night. Say what? That's the zoo. Yeah, yeah you talking about that nigga dancing in front of the window the whole time. Bruh, it, it, okay? I like yeah. that dance, nigga Cause dancing. they be going to the shelter at night, shit. bruh. So it's a shelter downtown, and they be looking like yeah. a thriller movie. Them motherfuckers do. <laughs> Now, nah, real talk. Yeah. Now, nah, come on. Yeah, y'all got get different type of time. drugs down yeah. here, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's, it's some shit down there. Yeah, it's a different type yeah, of drugs. Yeah, some shit going on. I know. Down here. These niggas challenge it, too, now. Oh, yeah. 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 But why you talking about I seen a nigga down there with a work boot and a tennis shoe on. Yeah, damn. What are you doing? <laughs> Headed down that way. <laughs> when you see shit nah. like that, you don't question it. I got a, bad, I got a worse one than it. I seen a nigga down there, that nigga had a wooden foot but a real leg. God damn it. <laughs> All you motherfuckers who want to move that ladder. I'm going to soak in for a minute. Uh -uh. I seen a nigga down there with a real foot but a wooden leg. I'm, I, I, let that soak in. I'm going to let that one sit. That's what I seen. That's the craziest shit I ain't seen. Nigga had a real foot. With a wooden leg, but the fucked up part about it, when I tickled him on the foot, the nigga still started laughing. You hear? Hey, man. That nigga probably fast You think that's shit? strange? Nah, that was fucked up. It's that nigga, see, he caught on. That nigga, girl, he smart. It's, it's, it's this white dude. It's this white dude who said he didn't been about 23 of my shows. Cameraman, that or that. He, he missing that. this finger, he said, but truth. this finger real long. Let's go. His shit about this long. He came to my show and he put them up for it. It was like two middle fingers. Come on, man. That shit was crazy. <coughs> he like, Lose, I come to all your shows. I'm like, what else you do? He was like, nothing. <laughs> had this long ass finger, but this he only had four. Like this one was gone. He was born without that one. It's the strangest shit ever. Sounds good. Cool. I ain't got nothing bad. To I'm gonna introduce him to the nigga with the fake leg and the wooden and the real <laughs> foot. <laughs> let that now nigga chip, let him tickle me. <laughs> <laughs> I know he a fighter, but he played chess. You hear me? I like you play chess. You play chess at all? Mm, I'm from Mississippi. We don't have many opportunities. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Old white man walk by and see a nigga playing chess. He might steal. Them. Give me that goddamn chess. Nigga, yeah. <laughs> they don't know play no goddamn chess. Yeah. Look at it, look at it. Chill out, Lowe. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, but it's just like that. Because somebody <laughs> might believe the shit, man. Mississippi is a strange place. Though. Man, you had a chance, man. You don't know that. You ain't. You don't know why I been. But that ain't why you didn't play chess. You don't. It wasn't no chess to be played. Okay. Where we gonna play at? In the yard. I'm from Mississippi. It's 50 years behind. We was playing checkers. I checker a motherfucker to death. Damn. It ain't many niggas that can out checker me. Yeah. Okay. I was at I was barbershop checker checker. You probably play the fake yeah. way with a nigga slide and jump with <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. yeah, I grew up in a real barbershop where it was old niggas sitting around. Boy, now you look sporty. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot yeah. of niggas who don't know nothing about looking sporty. They don't man. know what sporty yeah. means. They never yeah. looked sporty before. <laughs> Ugly young men. <laughs> 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 Unhandsome ass fuckers. <laughs> That's how we living though. 
Yeah. Get your hair cut. You got this a little is smoke. the 85 South show for all the people who wear the motherfucking jogging pants <laughs> with no drawstring in them. Damn. Exactly. That's how we living over here, OG person. Talk you ever watch the 85 South show? Yes, sir. This, the mo this show was voted the number one show for black people between the ages of 13 and 83. Okay. 13? Yeah. 70 years. Yeah. <laughs> this that show. This done brought a lot of uh, love to the black community. I be getting all kind of DMs and shit from like, you know, like they have fine women and then they mama, they be like, my daughter, you are the father of my daughter. Hmm. You gonna really like my daughter. Yeah. Yeah, just cause it's getting back hot outside. <laughs> That's what I've been up to. Ain't no telling what I would have been up to had Nav told Eddie Murphy nothing about me, though. Yeah, I know man, he working that, on some that, shit this summer. I know, that hurt. That hurt every, I, don't know, I don't know what hurt the most. It looked like it hurt him the most every time he no, heard it. Like, but no, yeah. but I can feel his pain, though. That nigga I can just see his hurt. You hear me? I, he I already know. done fucked but up. I can feel your pain, though. He done fucked up because he, he already done said something about, you know, part three. Damn. Yeah. That's rubbing it in your face. Right. <laughs> so that, yeah, OG, that, what's that kinda, up? Just, so that kind of let me know. All, he doing all the talking. So I'm you know what that let me know? No. That he's still in touch with them people. Oh, man. He still ain't said nothing. I'm just fig You just said mama was mad a while ago. You was on top of that, right? Mama knew what happened. But look, at, you yeah. know, I let back go be back go. <laughs> but he think I'm not going to bring it up. Yeah, that dude. I'm not mad about it. I'm right, right. But right. he don't fuck with me. He didn't even know I was going to be here today. Like, he not, he not answering no texts, no how you How you think? I just popped up. OK. And you had to pretend with like the you good fuck news. with me. With the good news. <laughs> we could have just, we could have cut the lights off and act like we wasn't in here. We've done it before. We know how to get away from your dog ass. <laughs> He's about to be done it before. Yeah. <laughs> Diamond Stone, you cover a lot of shit down y'all way, man, as far as just on the scene, bro. Right. Yeah. What made you want to jump into the media game and, you know, create your own outlet? Yeah, um, honestly, man, um, I had, um, I had, uh, you about to lie. Cause you nah, said, nah, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna, gonna lie. lie. He didn't want to give had, too uh, much out. He ain't gonna lie. Nah, damn. It was basically, I started with two artists, you know what I'm saying? And um, they was both rapping together, and that's that's basically how I started. But, um, and that's how I got into the like the rap game, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but when I first started, I started with Diamond Stone Entertainment. And uh, basically, I wanted to manage like models and stuff like that. Get Sounded like, like I knew it was them, you know them hoes. No, 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 for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, like, this the thing. That's the thing, though. This the thing, like. Uh -oh. What nigga want to manage some models? Nah, for freak real. ass like, nigga. Nah, uh -oh. <laughs> nah, look. All right, take that out. It's like, it's like. <laughs> it's like, they, they got a little movement, you know what I'm saying? So, it really ain't no niggas down there, you know what I'm saying? That's really putting uh -oh. on for the females <laughs> without, without trying to, you know what I'm saying? So, without I'm trying like, to what? Have sexual intercourses and stuff. Oh, you, you know a good guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, I, I work with a lot of females, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. No, you don't, because you yeah. call them females. Yeah, no, I work with a lot of females, man, a lot of models. Just call them whatever. women. They don't like to be called females. <laughs> I seen a survey. <laughs> All right, don't time listen. Time out of time. Hold up, hold don't up. Don't listen to me. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you. Don't listen to me. Catch you know what I'm talking about. I'm, Watch I'm, I'm telling you. Ask nah, the ladies. Man. They'll tell you. <laughs> nah, I ain't never had no problem. Okay. Nah, nah, for real. But yeah, um, they're gonna DM me and be like, "Oh yeah, Los was right." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking female. <laughs> what are we fucking puppies? <laughs> Don't yeah. dehumanize me, Diamond Stone. Yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You look great, right, man. I'm telling nah, you. Nah, man. Look, <laughs> look. Let me tell you, man. So look, where I'm from, bro. It's you know what I'm saying? For work, like, it's, it's yeah. very, it's big, but it is small, you know what I'm saying? But we got a lot of talent out there, bro. Just with the females, with the artists, you know what I'm saying? But we got raw talent, like OG Percy, you know what I'm saying? Undiscovered yeah. talent, though. Like, shit ain't never been seen before, you know? So, shit, when I created my platform, Diamond Stone TV, um, basically creating a, a media outlet 
to uh, to get bring that exposure to the city. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I looked at people like, of course, like Sean Cotton. You know what I'm saying? Say Cheese TV. Man, he, fuck he, with them, bro. Yeah, he started yeah, they right keep there. Keep the streets popping. Yeah, he started and right they, there. And he letting the, the artists get on that motherfucker too. Yeah, he yeah. sure he yeah. highlighting all the up and coming. But he so. uh, he started right there. Sure. Um, and for work, like. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say he started, but he was out there making noise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's really what got me. Like, I was like, man, look, let me, ain't nobody out here right now really doing it. So let me just, and I hopped in. And and, 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 and it's, it's down there like y'all shit. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Like, I see how y'all, y'all don't do interviews with everybody. You know what I'm saying? But we, we don't even do interviews. We like, just be one motherfucker yeah, yeah, like, to come up in here. No, nah, I'm talking yeah. about like when y'all drop. Shit. It be like exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, that's that's how I be trying to yeah, have these niggas, That's what I'm saying. These niggas don't even know about OG person, but you think thirty thousand is a lie? Wait till the eighty five percent to show up and be like, that nigga low sweat line. These some good ass motherfucking stories. Yeah. yeah. Watch, they gonna pull up. My people <laughs> believe in the shit we put out. I see. Yeah, cause we know exactly who the podcast is for. Yes, sir. For everybody who quit their job every morning. <laughs> but still go to work. Like, hey, you fuck mean. this job! <laughs> I ain't doing it. Fuck it. Right, let me get up, man. Yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> Damn, that's how our core audience. Yes, Real nigga shit. Ready like for that. the lunch break. Yeah. 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 Business who don't have no side teeth, but still pretty as fuck. Damn. So you make them laugh real loud. Yeah. <laughs> Come they on. don't even understand. They twenty three hundred dollars away from being beautiful, though. Twenty <laughs> three? Yeah. They gotta get one on both sides. Dang. And she need, you know, look. She gonna need a little work in the back. You a my side too? <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm at that part of my life where I know that once I do buy it, she gonna be so. She gonna be such a hot commodity. Her loyalty to me would be gone. It's gonna, cause it's like she didn't even know she was gonna be this bad. Cause she ain't seen herself with him in so long. But you ain't tripping. No. I'm not gonna bring it up ever again. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm the nigga that. She always gotta remember though. Cause that's just the type of nigga I am. I leave shit better than I found it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even if we fall out. I'm still, like, if I see it at Walmart, I'm going to buy them groceries. Because <laughs> I know there's some kids over there that believe in me. So you want to ask for the side two back? None of that. Never? I'm not a take her back. Let me say it. And once I got you, I got you. If you Damn. fuck that up, I want you to have these things to remind you of what you could have had. <laughs> these was just, this was just on the lower level. If I'm, if I'm coming in the game, at dinner work, guess what else I'm doing? She, she, she don't know, because now that door is locked. <laughs> the unlimited potential <laughs> of what I could have been. But I threaten a loss. I wouldn't take it back, but I you just petty. call and you threaten. Petty. I'll come back and get my <laughs> shit. Petty. You should never do nothing to hold it over nobody's head. You ain't leave nothing over here. I'm talking about that tooth, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See, you low down. I it. That's called. I but I wouldn't go get it. I'm just scaring but her. For you to even bring it back up, that's letting yeah. her know that you feel some type of way about it. I've been trying to help him for the longest. Damn. He don't listen to shit. He hard headed. He gonna go get that too. He not gonna do that. Yeah. I just put little letters on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Third time oh, trying man. to come. Man, and I asked this nigga what's the most expensive thing he bought a woman. He said a TV. Yo, 4K though. <laughs> <laughs> not 4,000, I'm talking about 4K. Right, right, like, right, right, right. The view High quality. <laughs> TV man. <laughs> Bitch, I had to be excited. <clears throat> you think she laughed when I drove off? Her and the nigga watched that TV. <laughs> Who you think hung it up? Cause I know you did. You just had that big ass box over there. And then it was a stupid amount of inches too. Some inches you ain't even 53 inches or something. So a nigga watching my shit. He hung it for it. <laughs> he ain't know how to tuck the cord though. Yeah, let me shoot that text. <laughs> it's too late now. Put that TV at the door, bitch. Nah. <laughs> Shift later. I don't be tripping about no shit. Bro. This nigga then came up in here and became a whole movie star on me, man. 
Okay. It's probably gonna be the last episode. He, he, you know, he really just do, you know, just, you know, hey man, you know. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I tell y'all, yeah, he that fucked up about that nah, Eddie Murphy. Nah, that nigga Lowe's <laughs> Bro, I was upside OG. He fucked up about that Eddie Murphy, boy. Lowe's changed he, my he life, bro. He finna lie to you, man. Lowe's changed my life, bro. Did you see bro. what he did oh, in he return? He trying to clean it up? Yeah! He trying to clean it up again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, no, put that dustpan up, Now, man. let him. I saw him. I saw him. <laughs> he was on another podcast. He was like, man, I was by myself. Ain't nobody helped me. He was like, man, I was by myself. Ain't nobody helped me. Nah, for real. No. He was on there. This is what? the whole clip. Yeah, when you self-made, <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do. Come on, I'm man. my own boss. What? I make my own house. I was like, oh. Yeah, it might be your last nah. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least. I think you lie, OG. Hey, if think. you want to get it like you, like I get it by myself. <laughs> yeah, he remember every word. He got every word. Yep, he on you. Damn. Ah! Damn. 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 Bro, he treat me like family. Everybody here treat me like family. Like we yeah. about to stop that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already <laughs> talking about. Yeah, that. it's trickling down. Yeah. Like niggas, yeah. like niggas. Certain niggas didn't dap me up when I walked hey. in. Yeah, hey. cut him off. Yeah, I can hey, feel the energy. Him off. Cut him off. <laughs> cut him like him you off. know how when you walk in, people are going, "What are you doing here?" Like they give me them type of looks yeah. and shit. Come on, man. Head down, looking at you. Oh eyes. my goodness, bro. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Cutting their eyes at me. Yeah, that's shit. all that about to change up. <laughs> but the love won't disappear from me. I don't care how y'all do me, low. Oh man. <laughs> don't don't start. It. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn. So you need to do a segment on selfish niggas. <laughs> Damn, star him, bro. <laughs> now you want to talk about an interesting story? He gonna get on y'all shit and be like, "Yeah, man, I pretty much, you know, did all my shit by myself. Yeah, <laughs> it was just me." Damn, you know, my sister did some paperwork for me, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's how they do you, man. They forget your face. To this day, man, the biggest crowd I ever did, cause of '85 South. That alone should have did what? Nate, you want to count? <laughs> Damn, yeah. yeah so that, at count, some point in time, they were like, so what's some of the biggest shit you did? Oh, you know, I had, you know, I had let 85 South <coughs> open up for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw a picture you on stage. How many people that? Yeah, that was on my tour. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, he told me he, he take all the credit, man. <laughs> but he didn't know the dirty shit he was doing gonna come to light. Yeah, man. it's all good. Damn, man, that shit true. That was, nah, that was on the live. Yeah, he <laughs> close my boy, man. I like that. That's fire. <laughs> hey, man, you got a lot of niggas that fuck with y'all, though, man. Appreciate. We've been getting a lot of inboxes and shit. When people saw y'all was coming. And, Hey man, that's real. You got OG person coming through that bit. Yes, sir. And just know, I'm gonna tell them, you know, we're gonna put some links up or something so they can go out there and check you out. I appreciate that, you man. Know? So they can so they can hear your shit firsthand. Shit like that, bro. Yeah, man, you gonna be uh dropping uh Tales from a Crip EP, man, by the summer, so yeah. Right, 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 right. We in there. We were just talking about that shit. We need some some, some old nigga rap. Yeah. For the niggas. Oh, this. You know, like, for, for niggas who old Mature rap. Yeah, it's like no, I call it no, 26. That was real, though. I call my shit 26 and beyond. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We need some niggas, shit. Cause they want to listen to They always want to run the rappers off. Oh, old niggas. Like, nigga, some old niggas. The like, hell, we still listen to about. rap. Mm -hmm. I, need some, I need to hear from some niggas I can relate to. Yeah. Who your top five, OG? Top five in rapping? Yeah. Yeah. Scarface is my number one. All Scarface. Right. Shout out to Scarface and the whole face model. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I love, I love Kanye West. I ain't gonna lie, man. Kanye is conscious. Yeah. I like Kendrick Lamar. OK. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Uh, and we get down to the gangster, man. I, I love me some honeycomb right now, man. OK. okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's, 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 my, that's my son, PMG God, man. He the truth. And my son, Jay the Realist, that's it. Okay, yes, sir, that's it. But PMG God, man, free to God, that's my son. Y'all look PMG God, but man, one of the hottest young rappers in Fort Worth, you understand me? 
Yeah. Uh, free, the, free the game, man. So y'all don't be having family battles? Family battles such as? Like, you know, going back, bouncing off each other. Oh, nah, nah, them boys in their own lane. I don't, I don't <laughs> them, them boys, that, yeah, they in their own lane. Shout out to the game, B4B, man. Shout out to B4B game, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, them boys in their own lane, man. Uh, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that drill rap. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they call it. It's that drill rap. They into it real tough and they lost in it right now, so. Damn. You know, they, it's gonna cost them. Boy, that's some dangerous shit right there. Yeah, yeah, and they into it for real, you know. Free the game, man. You understand me? I'm, yeah. Yeah. If you know what drill music is, that's what they into, man. Hell yeah. And they, um, and they with that shit for real. So, um, I just pray for them every day. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I just pray that I get that lock. I, I was happy the other day. I said, I'm on my way. To Atlanta, shit, the day I finna get ready to go, shit, I get the phone call, they went and got all my boys, snatched them. Damn. Yeah, shit. Same day. Same no day. Crazy. We gotta go, damn, gotta go to Atlanta. I'm like, God damn, see, I know how the devil work. You dig what I'm saying? Anything, any kind of distraction, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but, um, but you know, I take all bad and find something good in it. You know, we got to. You hear me? I oh, don't say that. Yeah, but hold up. Don't, don't say, say that around here. <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> but in that bad situation, I was just happy. I thank God I didn't get that other call. Yeah. You hear me? Because I know how them young niggas live, you hear me? Yeah. And I was looking for that other car more than any car. Mm-hmm. You know, when they say they were locked up, I was like, shit, well, hell, I can go. I know where they gonna be at, I'm safe. I mean, they, I know where they at. Yeah, yeah. Sure. ain't no bonding out of nothing. Yeah, y'all gonna sit there for a minute, I'm good. So, yeah, it just gave me more, you know, I can get here in peace. Yeah. My mind without worrying about, you know what I'm saying? Because the other car would have been worse. Yeah. And they know that's what I was looking for, them boys, and they laid that shit out there. And it's sad, that's what Fort Worth is into right now. Damn. It's a war there, there. How long has it been like that? Been, shit, it's been a war for the last it, it's really, it's two really or three amazing, years. Really, I mean, for the last two years, but for the last year, I mean, it's, you know, niggas, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, for work been murder worth like that. That's why the name been there, the murder ain't never left. Right. You no, know, it, it just ain't, it's just never talked about. Now it's amplified. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been, yeah, shit. you know, back in the, back in the 90s, 91, 92, we murder capital. Damn. You dig what I'm saying? From 91 to 93, you dig what I'm saying? From game banging a lot. Shit, I lost 113 homeboys in one motherfucking year. Damn. You hear me? Yeah, the game banging was real. But that shit then came back around. You dig what I'm saying? That shit left because niggas got time and niggas got killed off. Genocide, you dig what I'm saying? Hell yeah. yeah, they fucked off a whole generation of young niggas down there. 113? Yeah. I lost, that's just the ones I knew. Oh, I got the box to show you, you hear me? Yeah, no, but I, I yeah, I the box real. You know what I'm saying? If you can see in the dead box, that's what's sending them dead niggas. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, we still losing them. Shit ain't got so bad. I need another box now for the young niggas for the day. Cause them young niggas down there, they down like that rapidly, but down there in Fort Worth, you know, the war's being, it ain't being seen because uh, some of these young niggas don't got a name like OG Percy, Dimestone, anybody that's got a name, they get killed, but these young niggas get killed every day down there. Yeah. Rapping, it ain't nobody seeing it or saying nothing. Yeah, because these young niggas don't have a name, but they somebody child. Right. No, so that's somebody grandbaby, somebody child has been got murdered. I see balloons every every week around that motherfucker. But it's a no name little kid that don't nobody know, so he don't get the recognition. Right. But but it's going down down there. You hear me? You know. Damn. The drilling is real down there. Yeah. What you even think it's gonna take to goddamn stop all this violence and shit in the whole um, community? I don't know that um that open carry man is gonna make it hard. Because I don't know what these young niggas think. I think they, that, that stands for them. They don't stand for y'all. Mm. But um, like I told them, if, if they think the law gonna say, uh, hey, you got a license for that? Now, see, now, you know, too many black kids been getting knocked off anyway by the laws without a probable cause, without a gun, without a cell phone. There's been a cell phone. This was lazy as fuck. We just gonna put the gun on the niggas. Mm. Open carry. Y'all can, just, just put it on them. See, now, now, now you got the pistol on you. They're not finna, yeah. They gonna damn you. Now they, they ain't got a right to ask you what, because they see it. I don't think they gonna ask you for your license before they check that weapon, you hear me? You dig what I'm saying? But it's on you. You know, open carry, that's just some shit, just it's a setup. Just like, yeah, like the COVID, it's a setup. So, um, now in Fort Worth, it's gonna take a lot. First, it's gonna take some respect, man. I see they out of control. But uh, I ain't gonna speak on the war down there, because, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to save it. I'm trying to build it. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not trying to destroy them young niggas down there. They take anything. They don't care if you're saying something right or you're saying something wrong. 
if you get your nose, see one thing about the law, if you don't know nothing, there ain't nothing. It's the same with these young niggas. Stay out there, and, 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 that's, and, these, and the old niggas got scared of the young niggas, you hear me? Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? I know a cat just came home, she, you know, you been gone for a minute, but niggas don't know these streets can change. You can't come home and get the streets back. Mm. They not listen to you, nigga, you been gone too long. Right. Yeah, yeah. Shit. But I street, I see, I see they out of control. They hit it. But um, I got love, it's gonna slow down. It's gonna slow down, shit, it's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Cause right now, shit, uh, either you gonna get along, that damn, a lot of like, them gonna start disappearing. It just seemed like shit, it's like that in every city, it seemed like. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh it's strong, it's strong everywhere. It's angry, it's a lot, yes, of, sir. a lot of murder, a lot of Mayhem. music they listening to. Mayhem. Man. A lot of revenge, <laughs> a lot of payback. Then, it's a lot just, of stepping, and I'm, uh, it's real sad, man, to watch these young niggas just throw their life away like and, that. And they doing it with no conscience. Right. With no conscience. My kids, see, they doing it with no conscience. Shout man, free my son, little person. Yeah, free my son, little Pernell. You know I got one that just got 84 in the feds. Got one that just got 18 in the state. One just got 15 in the state. One just got eight. And I don't know what these other two, they just went and grabbed. Look, I don't know what they looking like. But it don't you know what I'm saying, but. I don't, I don't knock, I don't grow no, I don't grow no bald spots. Nigga, I still fade and wear my, I, I'd rather get the grades for the wisdom than weary. I don't worry about it, because I already know daddy and I already told him the game. Yeah. I'm bald. You bald? You in there, yeah. though. You got the right hat on. I'm bald. Yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. You know, that means I'm just saying that to say this, I don't do no weary. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I don't got no more yeah. fucks to give. <laughs> yeah, you hear that part. Yeah, and that's how I feel about the situation. You hear me? Because if they ain't going to listen, I'm gonna let you bump your head against that wall, but when you get in there, don't call me, don't say nothing to me, because I don't visit the penitentiary. I don't see the penitentiary. I used to couldn't stay at the penitentiary within goddamn me nine months. And since I was 17 years old, I would get out and go right back. Damn. Get out and go right back. She'd get out and go right back. You know what I'm saying? For some, don't give a damn if it's a misdemeanor, uh, seven days here, or 99 months here, or two years here, or three years here, or six months here. I kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. You understand me? Until one time when that bitch couldn't come home. You know what I'm saying? But them niggas don't know. Time, you gonna get lost in time. Them young niggas don't know when you get in there and time lose you. You come home, everything ain't guaranteed to be here. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just thinking shit, life, nigga, life going, yeah. I ain't no fountain of youth. My kids, I done lost y'all. Daddy, shit, listen, so, um, fountain of youth somewhere around this motherfucker. Nigga, I can't wait no 84 years for you. You dig what I'm saying? I can't wait no 18 years. I'm already 51. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of kids don't understand when you go in that motherfucker, you got a lot to lose besides your freedom. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you don't lose your mama, your kids, you gonna come home, stand around, stand in the motherfucking middle of the street, don't know where the fuck to go, because you lost everything. Damn. Yeah, you don't know what you're gonna lose. Shit, time going fast these days, niggas is dying. You hear me? <clears throat> yeah, so uh, within 18 and 20 years now, shit, niggas losing 10, 11 niggas within year, one year now. Yeah, so uh, they don't pay that type of shit no attention. It's the worst call to get. Being locked up, you lost your mama, you lost your brother, you lost your daddy, Paw Paw gone. No, they just killed a little niece over here. Such such just kept killing the drive by. And they doing it down there. They shooting kids and all. Mm. I'm saying shit. They ain't giving a fuck. But um shit cold. raw. Yeah, but um, it's yeah, ain't no, it ain't it's, it's it's a war down there. I'm just praying for the city, nigga. So I all just listen to Diamond Stone and OG Percy right. tells from the crib. My job is to put a, you know what I'm saying, some sunshine in the city, you know what I'm saying? No clouds. Right. You know what I'm saying? We trying to goddamn me save something. You know, for all that listen from the old, you know, shit. Tell some of crypt to, to um, the true testament every Sunday that I do. Right. Yeah. You know. And that's exactly what I was saying, man. Why you got to get on this platform to let people know that, you know, there are people out there who trying to put, you know, the raw reality of what's real out there. Yeah. And, you know, different avenues of shit they can sit back and soak some game up on, man. A lot of right. people might not be aware of what's going on, that, you know. Yeah, for a word, right? You know, oh, they were, you know. Shit. But I'm saying, <laughs> oh, they were. They, when I say they scared, yeah, big homie, they scared. They big homie, they scared. Shit, nigga, I didn't got scared. You big homie, say it now, and you know what I'm saying, shit. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you all my stories on the internet anyway. You did what I'm saying. Down, down. I think you released one anyway. You know my. Niggas, they ran to my house, you know what I'm saying? All types. The young niggas, they, yeah, but I put a cease to it, but at the same time, the disrespect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the thing is, this, these days, for the, to, 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 you know, to alert the parents, 
Uh-huh. If you have a child in your house game banging, you know what I'm saying, me shit, it ain't his life that's in danger no more. It's your motherfucking life. You dig what I'm saying? That's the game in the streets now. Mm-hmm. Fuck, fuck the nigga they after. Shit, I'm sliding on their mama, their daddy, their grandma. That's, that's the game. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? That's what they doing down there. Damn. And I'm talking about it's like, you know what I'm saying? People that ain't got shit to do with shit. Ain't nobody off You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now you see, you just sent a rap through this way, a rap through, through uh, ain't such and such house. They went to set up cousin, uh, ain't he such and such house. Just because you kid, that's the game now. Mm. Uh, no, no blame, no fingers to blame, but uh, when that shit happened to the Honeycomb Beasley family, you know what I'm saying, either niggas was gonna learn from it or it was gonna set a trend. And if you ain't been paying attention, it set a trend. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got all niggas talking about this, nigga, I get your mama, your daddy, your sister, and brother, and then you turn around and don't know, nigga, you got a mama and daddy and sister and brother they can come get too. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, my kids is the drill down there. They shit. <laughs> That, that that little game off the street for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I told them the streets look a little safe down there now, you did? Damn. Just now, nah, I'm talking about, they, ain't, they they just a little safe. That ain't shit. It's a big problem down there. They just a piece of it. You dig know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just a piece of it. But, um, and, and since we've been down here, shit, the turn up done got real. You dig know what I'm saying? Since we've been down here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's a video, night, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a video just dropped in, the, and, and that turned on another light switch in the city. Since we been here, shit, mm-hmm. you know, they've they been down there doing what they do. They slide. Damn. The, the, the drill is real in, in Murder Word, Texas, man. And uh, it's a war out here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Me and uh, if niggas ain't paying attention, them young cats down there dying, man. You hear me? And ain't nobody saying shit. Mm. And I'm gonna tell you something, really. Can't nobody do nothing but the children. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we gonna lose enough of them, and they kill off kill off enough of them, the laws will kill the rest of them. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> if they kill off enough of them, the laws come off and kill off the rest of them. You hear me? They don't even see it like that. They get rid of enough of them. Cause they jailing them niggas and they they lie sentencing them young niggas like it ain't shit right now. They don't know nothing at the time about 30 and 50 years and 70 years here. They throwing them little kids away out there in the system in, te- in Texas. Yeah, in Texas. You go to jail in Texas, your ass going to the penitentiary. That shit I seen down here, down here in, uh, in Atlanta last night, shit. These niggas, y'all free down here. Yeah. Yeah, y'all free down now for real. Y'all yeah. free. Cause the shit that yeah. I seen down here in y'all city. Not I, free. What, what? Not shit in the street. I mean, free, what? but. Now, I ain't talk, I'm, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about no shit in the street. I'm talking about just about being in the street. Fuck all that shit in the street. You ain't finna be out there. Yeah. Do, I, ain't none of that yeah. gonna be downtown. What? I said, you nigga down here free. It's going up. I ain't gonna lie. Everything I seen, it was all black. And man, you kind of want to be out there, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, cool with me. You know, you ain't gonna pick up that vibe in Fort Worth. Not, not, yeah, nah, not them laws, they ain't gonna let you. Well, they gonna yeah. run them peck of woods down there, gonna run down on you. No, nah, well, they ain't. Nigga, they, what? Yeah, you gonna get out that street. You ain't gonna sit in that street. You hear me? No, you know, they let you know. <laughs> they Billy Club. They, they, they the Billy Club gang down there still. You hear me? Yeah, yeah racist. You can be openly <laughs> black in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't have to hide your blackness. Yeah, I seen that. Black is celebrated. She, I seen jobs that I know all the white folks down there got. Ain't number black folks that's down here got. I said, God damn, that's cool. <laughs> I said, I swear, this is where we was from. Wouldn't be number white folks working in these places. You know what I'm saying? Not in these, this place. Not, no. not this place, though. I don't think. With us, it's what? Oh, you might be the manager. You know? yeah. <laughs> might own it. You might be the owner. You know, I don't know. That's just play. Yeah, yeah, nah. There's a lot of black folks in there. Nah, real talk. Then the Dallas Cowboys out there. Well, they're Arlington, ain't it? No. <laughs> well, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it. That close to hell. See, you got, he remembered that. See? Yeah. He remembered that. Yeah. And I checked it out. I seen that. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody <laughs> say shit about no cowboy. <laughs> that's your team? <laughs> Oh, oh, you thought that was they? Nah, I won't with them. Since when? Oh, I've been man. fucking with the Cowboys. Since, what, you, what date? I've been, I've been fucking with them since I started fucking with football. When was that? My folks used to watch them. They were Cowboys, what year was so it? it passed down to me. How old yeah. were you? I think I got a picture with me four years old with a Cowboy. So what year were you born? That had to be in 94. Yeah. So 94. Okay. 
full fledged cowboy. <laughs> full fledged cowboy. Fan. I don't went out there to game. About 28 years. <laughs> yeah, you really thinking about that shit. Don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Yes, Y'all fuck with the cowboy? All yep. day. Yeah. Yeah, you got to fuck with the cowboy. Yeah, yeah. They didn't help you. <coughs> you what we gonna do this year? It's nice, we. <laughs> <laughs> and neither one of y'all playing a goddamn down. Uh oh. You gotta get it jammed up. You gotta get it all jammed hey, up. Hey man, what, what's, what's in the playbook? What y'all gonna do this year? <laughs> I ain't seen the roster. No, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that get right. You don't even know who on that team. We straight. We got that. Right. That's, That's the main one. We got that. Mark Cooper, Ezekiel Elliott, Lel Collins, Demarcus Lawrence. I know the team. Now. Nigga name six. No, well, hey, I know. <laughs> hey, hey. Don't make me go deep now. You got to name a white player that don't nobody know. Travis Frederick. Okay. Okay. Nah, okay. that ain't that ain't obscure enough. They Bobby Wallachek. Okay. Vanderish. Vanderish. He boy. is the, he's the personal protector. Nah, man. Diamonds don't let them know where they can pull up some of that work, man, and check out what y'all. Check hey, man. Out uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, man. Diamond Stone TV. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna get all the exclusive news, um, all the exclusive footage. Uh, go look up some of that tales from a crook, me and OG Percy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Preach, Percy. Preach. Preach, Percy. Preach. OG. Yes, give, sir. Give him your social media, man. Hey, my social media, you. man. Get at me at OG Percy. Show no mercy. Demerson, man. That's my page, man. Uh, hit me up on YouTube, man. Hit me at the Diamond Stone TV, too, man. Subscribe to that channel. Uh, Hit me, at, hit me at, on my Instagram at Percy Demerson, man. Hey, man. Look me keep, up. Keep traveling. Keep traveling? Yeah, you owe it to yourself to see yeah. some more of this world. You hear And to your fans. You yes, sit still for a long time. Yeah. Stretch your legs, man. Yeah. Go everywhere you can go, man. Get you a passport if they'll let you. Mm -hmm. Shit. Go, to, go see some shit you never thought you'd see. Right. It's some shit out there, OG Percy, I'm telling you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my God, where do you get to Europe? They got some broads over there, six foot one with no fucking shoes on. Some of the longest pussy you'll ever have. Trust me. When I was there, three women, they all come up. No English. All they want is dick and marijuana. They want to take me to France, but I can't go to fucking France because I don't speak no French. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So they want me to go to France, and they're like, you, go with us. And I'm like, nah, no, I would, but you know, if there is any way we can do this here, they're yeah. like, no, we have to go back to France. And I'm like, how far is France? I'm asking people, and they're like, France, uh, if you take the, uh, uh, yeah. This is about two, three, four hours, maybe. Can't fucking go. take the chance, you know. So I tell these brothers, listen, Tuts, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Man, this nigga is I'm crazy. not going to France with you. <laughs> By this time, the chick I was hitting on earlier right. pulls back up doing about fucking 60 and a bends and she just slams on the brakes like, Skrrr! she slides. 10 fucking feet, parks right in front of me, and she jumps out of the car. He ain't going to no fucking France. Slams the door, runs up to me like she's been my gal for like <laughs> four years. <laughs> Gives me a handful of ass, throws the pussy on me. <laughs> now I'm like, hey, Tuts, I guess I ain't going to no fucking France. <laughs> you know, listen, we've been in this fucking club for like four hours. It's about six in the morning. The sun's coming up. I'm starving like a motherfucker. This fine ass, hot ass piece of ass is, has ran up to me. So then the owner of the club, she comes outside. What the fuck are you doing outside? Get your ass back in the fucking club. I'm like, I thought this fucking club was closed. <laughs> so we go back in this fucking club. She's like, what are you doing? Are you taking this bitch with you or no? Because I can throw her out. I was like, wait, 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 wait. We're hungry. Avoid the question. So now she's like, we're going to my house. I'm cooking breakfast for everybody. Everybody's going to fucking eat. So we go to her house, she cooks. 
And then she says, go to bed. I was like, I don't know where the beds are. She says, fucking find one. <laughs> yeah. So of course. <laughs> right, yeah. That's <laughs> enough of that fucking story. Y'all don't, y'all don't appreciate none of my <laughs> t- tales from around the world, bro. <laughs> 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 the the, the accent yeah, was out the 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 Oh, yeah. yeah I'm into the story. Listen, yeah, listen, listen that Percy, that Percy, Percy nah, check nah, this out. So <laughs> let me tell you another one. So listen, I'm up, I'm up late. I'm up late one night, and I'm just fucking up watching all of these fucking stories, man. And you're telling me how fucking wicked the world is and how strange things are. And I'm like, damn, this is fucking good shit. So I'm riding around that same fucking girl who runs up to me, believe it or not, she fucking reaches out to me. So I'm on my way fucking over there. I'm like, you know what? This would be a great fucking time to hear the end of that story and see how the fuck, you know, that shit ends. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, that shit was fucking interesting. That's exactly how it was, exactly how it was. I had this other broad named Kathy. Fucking great tits. Listen, <laughs> she had fucking great tits. First, nah, real, first man. listen yeah. to me. Some of the greatest tits you've ever <laughs> fucking seen. In the bra, out the bra, side boob. It was a magnificent tit. I wonder how those tits are doing right now. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't miss. The, I don't miss the broad, but yeah. the titties I miss. Right. I miss. Fire. She had the greatest fucking legs. Yeah. Soccer player, this girl. Yeah. She was the fucking yeah. best. Great spirit. Yeah. She had a great fucking spirit. She was good fucking people. You understand? Right. Great heart. Heart of gold. Face regular. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. Not worth it. Not worth it. Do you not, not okay, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Moving right along. I'll tell you another place that's got some great fucking broads. Mm-hmm. That fucking Germany? Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck they're feeding these broads over there, but let me tell you, some of the thickest white women you will ever see in your fucking life. It is fucking crazy. Oh my God, it's beautiful in the morning. It looks like you're gonna fucking see a lion or some fucking shit. I just <laughs> yeah, thank you, shit. I like that, boys. <laughs> but you gotta have boys. different voices for different occasions. Man. Right, right. Sometimes you, you know, just gotta like, really yeah, come nah, home. He, he been around it for a minute somewhere. And, and just open the fucking door real, real hard and just be like, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> that type of shit. Oh. I'm looking for her. Yes, you, the yeah. mother of my children, the birth of my brethren. Come here. There you go. I would like to discuss a few things with you. Proposition 61. Yes, yes, Proposition 61. I would like to discuss. You got to come home like that. They like that shit. Trust me, I study. This has been another 85 South Show production. Me, man. On this road to riches and diamond rings, real niggas do real things, man. We got OG Person in the trap with me today. Appreciate it. Diamond Stone TV. Now, Green, the movie star. And you know, you know who it is. Why wouldn't you? Stay tuned. We are say. Come on. Let's get some photos. Let's go. Shoot me up. Hold on, we're gonna get some pics.